Hi guys, today I'm back with another What I Eat In A Day video. I am so glad that you are liking this series because I'm having tons of fun doing it. I've always wanted my own cooking show, so this is like as close as I'm gonna get to it. And just knowing that a lot of you go through the same thing really gives me a lot of peace of mind and I'm sure it helps you as well seeing other people in the comments because I've talked about my, my struggle and my struggle with weight loss and overeating and emotional eating before and people will always say, oh, treat yourself, you look fine, you don't need to lose weight, but you know yourself better than anybody else and I know that I've gained 35 pounds in four years and that's not necessary. So sure, I look fine, but I could definitely be happier and healthier and have a better relationship with food and you know have a better and healthier body. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that and the way that I'm going about it is I'm not cutting out any food groups, I'm not adding in like any crazy, ingredients. I'm just eating what I want to eat. And like I've said before, in smaller and smarter portions, everybody has a different way of going about it. But for me, if I was to completely cut out carbs or cut out something, once that diet ends, I still am no smarter on how I actually should be treating my body. So none of this is really particularly diet food. You can always just kind of adjust it to your personal needs. I mean, I love watching what I eat in a day. I love food. I'll watch someone's 10,000 calorie day video and I'll watch someone who does intermittent fasting that's raw vegan. Like we've got something to learn from everybody. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So here we have breakfast, my friends. It is um, a super basic today, nothing exciting, but it's um, what I've been enjoying. No surprise here, I have the Lou's back bacon. I've got three pieces of that, and it's a lean source of protein, and it's quite high in protein as well. Then for my bread, I really like this brand. It is the Stone Mill brand. This is their sprouted rye and 12 grain. It has no sugar, it's dairy free, vegan, like crafted in Ontario, full of good stuff. Um, it's got a decent amount of fiber in there, seeds and all that kind of stuff. So that's great. And then some grapes. And then I have my coffee here or espresso with almond milk, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, so super simple breakfast, but it's quite delicious, satisfies me and it's got a nice amount of protein, fiber, fats, all that good stuff. Quick snack, haven't cut it open yet, but I'm gonna be having a kiwi. This one's pretty giant. Sometimes I'll have two kiwis. I love kiwis. I find they're so sweet um, and not candy-like, but just like really satisfying and sweet and delicious. Um, so I'm gonna have a kiwi as a little sweet snack. It is time for lunch, my friends, and I am having tacos. I know I had these in a recent What I Eat In A Day, again, but I mean, if I'm being honest here, this is what I eat in a day. But today the filling is a little bit different. I'm doing jackfruit. If you haven't heard of jackfruit, it is a fruit, believe it or not, but um, the way that it looks, it looks like pulled pork, believe it or not. So that has the barbecue sauce on it. It's pretty good. It's not like the best thing I've ever had in my life, but it is really good if you're looking for a meat substitute or if you're vegan um, or you're just looking for something lower calorie. Of course, it is a fruit, so there really is not much protein in here. So I'm gonna be having some Greek yogurt on the side and a little cheese on my taco as well. And if you wanna buy that, I actually got that from well.ca. You can also get it from another place called naturesmarket.ca. You can probably get it at Whole Foods too. I don't do a lot of shopping in stores. <laughs> So I've measured out some light cheese. I have 30 grams of cheese here of light old cheddar. So I like to get old cheddar because I find it has the most flavor, especially when you're going for a light cheese. And that's about, I think, five or eight grams of fat. And when you shred cheese, you just get so much more cheese. And then I mentioned these in my last taco what I eat in a day, but I still can't stop eating them. These are the French's Crunchy Toppers Jalapeno. So basically they're like kind of fried onions, but they're fried jalapenos. So they're super spicy, really, really so, so yummy. So I'm gonna put these on top. Actually, I'm gonna give this a quick nuke because it doesn't seem like that cheese is really melting. Okay, there are my tacos. And it's actually quite low calorie, believe it or not. I mean, it's not the most like nutrient dense dish <laughs> that I've ever made, but I mean, not everything I make needs to be like the healthiest ever. And it's still quite low calorie. This are, these are pickled, uh, pickled broccoli slaw that I made um, about two weeks ago now, about a week and a half ago. And it just continues to get more pickled as it stays there. I'll leave my pickling recipe down below. And then I've got my sour cream substitute, which is Greek yogurt. So really excited to eat this. I think it's gonna be super delicious. Okay, so it is time for a snack. I have been snacking on some broccoli and cauliflower. 
not because it's like a delicious yummy snack, but cruciferous vegetables are very good for you. So while I was waiting for my 100 calorie bag of popcorn to pop, I was snacking on it and I've mentioned this time and time again, but if I had to go cut up this broccoli to eat it, I would never eat it. But if it's cut up and in my fridge, I'm more likely to nom on it. And if you're a big kind of salty person like me, sometimes I'll spray my popcorn with a little bit of spray coconut oil and then add a little bit more salt um, because I love salt. But um, this is what I'm going to be having for a little mid-afternoon. It's barely mid-afternoon. I had lunch like an hour and a half ago, but this is what I'm gonna be having as a snack. Might throw in a, a Coke Zero too. So call me a child, but I'm having this Mott's Fruit Sations fruit roll, and it's essentially just like a fruit by the foot. Um, is this the healthiest ever? No, but the first ingredient is fruit puree, if that helps. But it's 80 calories and just so nostalgic to me. It is so delicious. I get the strawberry, it's like strawberry and lemon or something like that. Anyways, I can't stop eating these. I'm such a child, but um, so I'm gonna have as a little uh, sweet treat. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I've really been looking forward to this. This is one of my favorite things that we've meal prepped in a long time, um, or not a long time, but it's just really enjoyable. It is tandoori chicken or kind of tandoori chicken with basmati rice. And then I have some garlic zucchini there as well. I didn't film the meal prep of this, but I will leave the recipe we used down below. Super simple. We just toasted spices, added them to Greek yogurt, marinated the chicken thighs, and then I cooked them in a grill pan. You could also do it in the oven. You could do it on the barbecue. I bet it would be amazing. But the marinating in the Greek yogurt is just so good. Um, and the chicken thighs are amazing too. It's a... We use a lot of chicken breast, so it's a nice way to mix it up. And sorry if it's dark, but it is dinner. And then I just have basmati rice and some zucchinis there as well. So I'm just going to add it to a bowl for YouTube's sake, but it's a really good meal prep item. You could always just serve the chicken with all veg if you don't want to use rice, or you could make them like kebab style. Rue, that's my, that's my cat. She is also interested in it. <laughs> but it's good and it looks burned, but I swear it's not. For something sweet, I'm gonna be having this real dairy frozen Greek yogurt. I like frozen, I love frozen yogurt, but I especially like frozen Greek yogurt because you're getting a smidge more protein in there. And I especially love this one because it's the cookies and cream dream flavor, which essentially tastes exactly like a McFlurry that has Oreos in it. It is so good. So. In a serving, you're getting um, 120 calories, 3 grams of fat, 16 grams of sugar, and 4 grams of protein, which I mean, it's not a health food, but um, it is so satisfying and really tastes just like a McFlurry, so I highly, highly recommend it. They have some other flavors too if cookies and cream is uh, not your jam. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. There are plenty more to come because I am loving it and I'm glad you're enjoying it as well. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!